Hi. Good morning. It's actually morning for me, or morning for us. Uh, we're based out of Toronto, um, but we serve customers in Africa. So I'm just going to share my screen very quickly. This. Okay. Let me tell me. Let me know if you can see my slides. Yes, we can see it. Okay, great. Um, Pesa Pair, uh, we are a cross-border payment service designed for Africans. And um, we're designed for Africans today because we're, we're Africans, and that's the market we're very familiar with. Um, the long-term goal of Pesa Pair is to do what we do today globally, and which is one of the reasons uh, why we joined this bootcamp. Um, just to move very quickly to our team, um, we have a we have a quite a large team working on this project. And um, we have Yakubo, we have Clement, we have Tolu. Um, but on this um, Stella uh, program, I have myself, um, which is um, Tolu Osho, I'm the CEO at Pesa Pair. We have Wale, um, who is our lead architect, and we have Clement, who is our CTO and is in charge of software engineering. So what exactly are we trying to solve for? I'm sure that everyone here is quite familiar with um, remittance and everyone is familiar with the challenges that uh, exist today with remittance, which is one of the things that um, Stella is trying to solve and which is one of the things um, we are looking forward to partnering with Stella to solve. Um, today, we remit money to um, some corridors in Africa, Kenya, Ghana, Uganda, uh, Nigeria. But what we seek to do is to be able to expand our coverage and make um, our process faster. I'll tell you one of the problems we ran into a couple of um, weeks ago, and which is, again, one of the reasons why we're considering Stella. We tried to fund our, our, our flow position, and it took about two weeks to do that, right? Um, doing this, leveraging USDC and leveraging, leveraging the blockchain will be a matter of minutes, or if in some cases, um, seconds. So our solution is pretty much um, to make sure that our customers, um, number one, are able to exchange money in a very secure way. Um, one of the things that happens in the diaspora is people try to do this in al using alternative ways. Um, providers like SendWave, World Remit, TransferWise have proven to be a bit quite expensive for these people to use. And they've kind of resorted to um, doing this amongst themselves. There have been cases of fraud and so on and so forth, which is why we're building this platform. Now, from what we've built so far, um, we have a product um, that is live today that anyone can sign in to use. We're a money service business that is um, registered in Canada. And um, today we facilitate payments, like I mentioned, to those corridors. So we can onboard a user today, have them sign up and um, leverage our platform. What we're looking to do with Stella is to pretty much leverage the existing protocols that you have today, like the SCP 12 and 31, to facilitate um, anchor relationships with the existing anchors that you have today. And one of the things we also want to do is to become an anchor also, um, so that um, other anchors in other countries can leverage us for payouts in Canada. We have a very solid banking relationship that allows us to offer multi-currency wallets, as it were, um, to our customers today um, so that they can pretty much have their own identity on the platform. So necessarily when you're paying out, Pesa Pair might not be the one paying out, you are paying out for yourself. You have your own bank account number, you have your own, um, what we call inter um, um, contact here that can allow you to send money out and, um, and receive money. So from our flow today, um, a user signs up on our platform, your wallet is funded via inter today, and you can pretty much come and you can send money and you put in the value, we calculate the exchange rate for you. Um, you continue, you select the recipient that you want to send to and you send money. One of the things that um, we've promised our customers is instant payment at the far end, which is why we maintain a flow position with our partners. And one of the commitments we also got in with our partners is for them to um, help us fulfill these transactions instantly based on what is um, available to them. Um, today, we've spoken to Click Pesa, and uh, even though we don't have anything quite formal um, going with them, but we've spoken to them to see what the possibility of them, of us partnering with them. We're also aware of other um, of other anchors in other so in other areas like Tempo in Europe, for example, and in other locations like Brazil, Mexico, and so on and so forth. Like I mentioned, what we primarily want to do or how we want to leverage Stella is for us to become an anchor, a sending and receiving anchor, and at the same time be able to leverage the um, relationships that exist in the ecosystem um, to facilitate faster payout for our customers. Thank you.
Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, great demo. Obviously a massive use case and remittances and moving money across borders, huge. Uh, so, uh, so thank you for sharing that. Anybody, um, anybody in the group have, have questions or thoughts on, on the demo of the presentation? I guess I, I saw in your in your deck uh, one of your goals was to uh, reduce um, you know FX margin losses for your clients. Yeah. Wonder if you'd say a little bit about the mechanics of how you see that playing out, uh, especially on the on the Stellar plat platform using lumens and things like that. Yeah, what I've found today, again based on the very expert experiments that I've carried out, right? I sent money, for example, through Ward Remit to my brother. And uh, the value he got was so abysmal that I felt like crying on his behalf. If I'd sent the same money on my own platform, I probably would have saved about 6,000 Nigerian Naira um, for the same transaction. Um, we intend to be global someday and we intend to have a very large team. One of the things that we think we can do to help our customers um, to pass more savings to our customers is by keeping our overhead cost very low. Cloud computing has made a lot of things very possible. And I would imagine that um, several of our competition will be leveraging the same thing. Um, but one of the key things that Stella can do for us is access to USDC. Access to USDC, what I've seen is it, it gives you rates that are very close to mid-market rates, which are mid-market rates is the best rate anyone can have, but nobody has, right? But sourcing USDC from it, for example, converting my Canadian dollar to USDC gives me something very close to mid-market rates, and we're able to pass this on or pass the savings on to our customers to give them the best rate possible. Yeah, I see. Okay. Gives you kind of a um, almost direct access to a better, uh, more liquid FX market, it sounds like, um, without having to pay the, pay the margin. Yeah, correct. Very cool. Uh, there's one more question. It says, um, are you looking at moving money the other way, Africa to Canada? Definitely. Um, so we did an experiment last month. It lasted for a month. And one of the things we found out that the volume of money coming from Africa back to, to Canada is about 10 times what goes out of Canada to Africa. It's quite um, explainable because a lot of people in Africa want to buy cars. They call them Tokumbo in Nigeria, right? You want to buy cars from Canada, you want to pay school fees, you want to pay medical bills and so on and so forth. And these things are not necessarily cheap. A typical user on our platform sending money back home is sending maybe $200, $300. Someone that wants to bring money, for example, is bringing $70,000, $50,000 at one swoop. So in a day, you might be processing $120,000 and in three days, you're just processing $50,000 remitting back home. So there's a huge use case for people wanting to bring money from Africa back to um, Canada, which is why we had mentioned that we would love to be an anchor if possible for anybody that wants to leverage that as a use case, right? We would like to do it also to, pre to present this as, um, what's it called? As an option to our customers and that integrations with existing anchors, um, we know that we should be able to facilitate that. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that, I think that uh, reverse remittance corridor, sort of Africa to the rest of the world uh, use case is totally underexplored. So um, really cool that you guys are thinking about that. Sure, thanks, Jake. Um, let's see, I think we're doing okay on time. So we got what, time for one more question, which was uh, a regulatory one. Nigeria, uh, notorious for pushy, pushing, pushing companies like yours to get an IMTO uh, license. Uh, have you thought about how you're going to get around that or deal with it? Yeah, definitely. So the way the the way the money transfer business works is it's it's impossible for you to be regulated in all the countries in the world. Nobody is regulated in all the countries in the world. Um, Look at TransferWise, for example, they're not regulated in Nigeria, for example, and they don't do that business. One of the things that people do is to form partnerships, right? Form partnerships with someone that is regulated in that country, and that person becomes your front in that country for accept, uh, accepting payments. That um, partner, for example, is not necessarily regulated in Canada, but you can pay out in Canada on behalf of that of that partner. So that is how we pretty much um, go around, or I won't use the word go around, it's standard practice, right? Because technically we're not a company in Nigeria. Technically we don't accept payments in Nigeria. We could leverage likes of carry exchange to accept NGN and remit CAD 
um, back in Canada. In Kenya, for example, we could leverage the likes of ClickPesa to accept payments in that location and remit CAD back in Canada. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, glad you guys are plugged into the stellar partners in those different uh, markets. Um, cool. All right. Uh, thank you. Looks like uh, we've got Gravity queued up, but um, thank you guys so much uh, for for coming to the to the boot camp and, and sharing what you're doing in a very you know sort of critical use case and and really cool demo that you built. Uh, 